in our previous video we had learned about monohybrid dihybrid and trihybrid cross and also the shortcut trick to find out the genotypic ratio of the monohybrid dihybrid and trihybrid cross so in your mind there might be one question that is there any shortcut method by which we can find out the phenotypic ratio so the answer is yes there is a shortcut method to find out the phenotypic ratio also and this is much easier than the genotypic ratio so let's not waste the time and start so for understanding this means for understanding how to find out the phenotypic ratio of any cross first of all you have to understand what is pascal's triangle law oh yes you heard it right it's pascal's triangle law so you might think that oh what he's saying has he gone mad no it is the very easiest method to find out the phenotypic ratio of any cross it is a mathematic formula but it is also used in biology so let's start so first of all let me tell you what is pascal's triangle law so pascal's triangle law is like we had written here one and here one and now we will add these two numbers and write it here and we have to also write here one and we will add two will be here because one plus one two and here will be one and now we will add these two numbers and write it here and we will add these two numbers and write it here and first let us write one and two plus one three and two plus one three and here will be one and now we will add these two numbers and we will add these two numbers and we will add these two numbers and here will be one three plus one four three plus three six three plus one four and here will be one and now we will add these two numbers and so four plus one we write here six plus four we will write here here also six plus four we will write here and here is four plus one we will write here so here will be one and four plus one five six plus four ten six plus four ten and four plus one five and here will be one so you might think that what i am doing here and how can we find out the phenotypic ratio by this method okay so let me tell you that first of all this is for the mono hybrid cross let me write here mono and this is for dihybrid cross and this is for trihybrid cross and this is for tetrahybrid cross and this is for pentahybrid cross and now you might think oh how have to how we have we will use this so let me tell you that here is one one it means that three ratio one and here is one two one and it means that we will multiply three into first one and it is first we will multiply three into first number and here first number is three so here will be nine and it will be one time and how we know that it will be one time because here it is one so it will be nine will be only one time and now two it means that two times three 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 and one time one now again we will multiply nine into three it will be twenty seven and twenty seven how many times one time and three times what nine and you will write three times nine here and then three here also it means that three times three 
and then one time one and then again you will multiply 27 3 is 81 how many times 1 81 will be only one time and 4 times will be 27 ratio 27 ratio 27 ratio 27 and how many times 9 will be 6 times so 9 ratio 9 ratio 9 ratio 9 ratio 9 ratio 9 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 4 times 3 1 2 3 4 times 3 oh sorry my mistake I have written here 4 it will be 3 and 1 times 1 so it is uh, the phenotypic ratio of the monohybrid cross it is for the dihybrid cross it is for the trihybrid cross it is for the tetrahybrid cross and for penta also we will do like this we will multiply 81 3 it will be 243 and 243 will be 1 times then 5 times 81 then 10 times 27 then 10 times 9 then 5 times 3 and then 1 times 1 so this was the method to find out the phenotypic ratio of any cross let it be mono, di, tri, tetra, pe tetra, penta let it be anything you can find out within just a second it will not take a second also only you have to remember this or if you forgot also then you make like this and then solve the question it is very easy and you can use it in the NEET and AIMS exams also but in the board exam this formula will be not acceptable and in boards in such a hard question will be not asked also okay so thanks for watching